past. Before we continue, last night we ran a special report on police communications during various incidents. The reporter quoted the police signal on the Kericho Stadium stampede on Mashuja Day morning. However, our on-screen image or graphics representation intimated that the statement was issued by the Inspector General of the National Police Service, Jafford Kome. This text was incorrect, as in fact it was an excerpt of the police signal. We regret the error and apologize to the IG of Police, Jafford Kome, for any embarrassment and distress that the image may have caused him. All right, and away uh, from that uh, report, President William Ruto is in defense of his numerous foreign troubles and has laughed off his uh, critics saying that he is the country's chief agent. The president, who has now been on 38 foreign trips, adds that the trips will soon have positive impact on the country's economy and bilateral ties. And to his signature, Zima has more. President William Ruto's foreign travels have now become a subject of debate in the country. In just a year, the president has made a total of 38 foreign trips outside the country. The trips have drawn mixed reactions from Kenyans, with online platforms awash with mockery of the president's travels. The president, whose campaign team in 2022 was labeled the Tangatanga Brigade due to his numerous local trips away from office, in his defense in the court of public opinion says he is only but carrying out his duties. <laughs> Chief agent ya Kenya, mimi ndiyo ambassador ya Kenya ya kupanga vile Kenya itasonga mbele. The president, together with his deputy, Regave Gashagua, were out of the country at the same time last week. And midway through the week, the president would appear to correct the media for reporting that he had cut down travel budget by 500 million shillings only. Niliona jana, watu wa magazeti wanasema ni mepunguza milioni miatano. Apana zi milioni miatano. The president says that for any travel to be approved, the purposes of the foreign trips by government officials have to be centered around the well-being of Kenyans. The president's allies have also come to his defense. safari and I have been with the president. safari yote kutoka Korea, China, Europe, rais wetu amekuwa akienda kufungua masoko ya agriculture. It's our responsibility now hapa nyumbani to diversify ile maneno tunapanda ili tuwezi tukabeba hizi mimea kutoka hapa ifike soko. Mikakati mingi ambao umeiweka tunaiona. Na tunajua it's only for a time. Wakati tunaenda kwa shamba, unapanda, unapalilia. Tuko na hope na tunajua ni kupanda ya kwamba unapanda na tunahakika ya kwamba uchumi wa taifa letu. Kwa miaka miwili na yokuja, utabadilika. According to a report by the controller of budget, for the year starting July 2022 and June 2023, the total expenditure for the presidency on foreign travel was 361.7 million shillings. The office of the deputy president accounted for 40.7 million shillings on foreign travel, while the office of the prime cabinet secretary, Musalia Mudavadi, clocked at 21.5 million shillings. But just when will the country start experiencing tangible results from these foreign trips? Other than that, we have Sydney Chazima, uh, NTV.